Are you planning a trip to Italy and wondering which route is best? Are you looking to visit many cities, touching base between beautiful Italian landscapes and historical towns? With our Italian railway itineraries, we got you covered. Welcome back to Town Travel Tips. In today's video, we will tour Italy for one week, starting in Milan and arriving in Naples. We will travel almost 500 miles and through three cities, moving around using high-speed trains in about one week. Trains in Europe are cozy and fast, resulting in a great alternative to planes and cutting travel time from airports to the city center. Remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you haven't already. It is really important to us. Without further ado, let's dive into our Italian tour. Day 1 and 2 Milan Your Italian holidays, or vacanze italiane, just to get into the mood, start in Milan. Three airports and high-speed trains connect the city, and it is a great entry point for a trip all around Italy. Primarily famous for its fashion industry, Milan has become an international hotspot since Expo 2015 and today is a young, European, open-minded city with a great past and many relevant landmarks. Right in the middle of the city map is one of the oldest churches in the world, the Duomo. The Cathedral of Milan is one of the city's most recognizable structures. The construction began in 1386 and was not completed until 1965. You can see the entire city, its modern skyline, and the Alps in the distance from the rooftop. The church's interior is breathtaking, with stunning glass windows and columns up to 80 meters high. The majestic Gothic Cathedral dominates Duomo Square and the Galleria, your second stop. The Vittorio Emanuele II Gallery is a magnificent structure built between 1865 and 1877. The atmosphere here is magical, even for locals and people working in the many offices nearby. You won't want to leave the Galleria until you've visited the dome and seen the iron and glass roof. The scene is a spectacular experience, and all around, there are simply the most famous fashion shops, restaurants, and brands in the world. Cross the Galleria and look at La Scala, one of the main theaters worldwide, clearly visible among the three centuries-old buildings surrounding La Scala Square. For your evenings in Milan, Navili District is the answer. The Naviglio Grande is one of the most beautiful streets in the entire world. Many cafes, pubs, restaurants, and a water canal in the center that flows to the Darsena area make the atmosphere enchanted. Walk down Naviglio Grande and choose where to eat or drink something from the various cuisines, the best cocktail bars in Italy, and even the smallest cocktail bar in the world. Day 3 and 4 – Rome Less than three hours of a train ride away from Milan, there is one of the world's most renowned, ancient, and gorgeous cities. Rome. The Italian capital city is your home for the trip's second leg and surely won't disappoint you. Every visit to Rome has to start from its ancient Roman roots. The Colosseum is one of the most famous landmarks in the world and an iconic expression of the city's glorious past. The Colosseum is the world's largest amphitheater and has great historical value. If you could travel back a few thousand years, you would witness thrilling gladiatorial contests, animal hunts, or mythological dramas on the arena's sand. Today, the Colosseum is crowded with tourists, so get tickets in advance if you want to go inside. Near the Colosseum, check out the Fori Romani. It is undoubtedly one of the best preserved ruins in the world and a statement of how life was there many, many years ago. As symbolic as the Colosseum, Vatican City is another must in Rome. There is no fee to enter San Pietro Church, the biggest worldwide, but there is always a long queue. Once you get inside, you'll realize it was well worth the wait. The dome is striking, the columns large and tall, and Michelangelo's Pietà is an artistic marvel. Take a short walk down the Sistine Chapel from here. 
It has a long history and is the site of the papal conclave, the process by which a new pope is chosen. The Sistine Chapel holds a special place in the hearts of tourists because of its beautiful frescoes and ceiling adorned with the Last Judgment by Michelangelo. After many sightseeing spots, it's time to wander around the city and grasp the essence of a place made famous by history and movies. The film Roman Holiday, starring Audrey Hepburn and Gregory Peck, featured the Spanish Step in one of the most iconic movie scenes ever. The 135 Spanish Steps in the Piazza di Spagna and the Piazza Trinita dei Monti were built in 1725 to bridge the space and slope between these two prominent squares. Each has a broad stone ledge and is surrounded by stone walls. From there, just look for authentic Italian restaurants serving carbonara, amatriciana, or the cacio e pepe, delicious pasta dishes praised as the new kings of Rome. Day 5 and 6. Naples The last leg of your Italian trip begins after a quick 90-minute train ride between Rome and Naples. Once the southern Italian capital, Naples is a gorgeous, messy, romantic, and wild city. Everything in Naples is bigger, louder, and tastier. You'll just have to go there to understand what we mean. The Italian vibes here are powerful, from delicious street food to the blue Mediterranean waves. Naples rhymes with sea, so Plebiscito Square should be your first stop. The Piazza del Plebiscito houses the Royal Palace, and the semicircular colonnades of the Basilica Royale. Other historical buildings and landmarks include the Palazzo Salerno and a statue dedicated to Charles III of Spain are part of the picture. The Naples Promenade will give you a fantastic view of the harbor and Mount Vesuvius just a few meters away. Another must-see while in the area is the Pompeii Ruins. Pompeii was an ancient city located in the shadow of Mount Vesuvius destroyed at its height following the disastrous eruption of the volcano in 79 AD. Despite the damage caused by the eruption and the volume of lava that spilled over the city, Pompeii is in excellent condition today, thanks to a massive layer of ash that preserved the ancient buildings. From bakery stores to gladiatorial arenas, Pompeii is a breathtaking experience in a perfectly kept 2,000-year-old city. You should indulge in Naples' narrow central alleys and elegant palaces for your last stop on this Italian journey. Walking on the Via dei Tribunali is the perfect way to grasp the city's soul. Tiny shops, fortune tellers, chaotic traffic, and the very best pizza in the world are all condensed into a few streets packed with locals and tourists. Have an authentic Neapolitan pizza at Sorbillo. Taste a rum-soaked baba and do not miss the sfogliatelle, crispy pastries filled with cream or chocolate. The Italian food will be your last memory of the trip, and we are sure it will last quite a long time. Are you planning a trip to Italy? Let us know in the comments section which are your dream destinations. We love hearing from you. If you loved this tour, check out our suggestions for another memorable Italian itinerary. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. Subscribe for more and click that bell icon so you don't miss out on our following videos. Thank you for watching. Take care. Ciao.